I'm going to show you what I've been doing um, food wise for the what we've both been doing food wise for the last I don't know, two or three months and it just seems to be really easy if you don't want to do a lot of cooking and you want to kind of you want to kind of you know have food ready to go and not you know so first thing you know run everything through the juicer this is beet and cucumber and something else celery ginger and cucumber now all of the all of the um parts of that you gather in the rum the, the the part of the storage of the juicer and you've got all this stuff in here so I went, I bought a bunch of baby eggplants for $1.99, cut them up, they're going in the soup. Um, so basically, I got cabbage, green cabbage, I'm going to cut up half of this purple cabbage, throw it in there, um, limes, limes, this is kind of like cucumber you say cucumber and soup listen I think if it I got this is from the beets that's how red they are um, cabbage just throw you know that I'll cut up but you know you're just taking this looks like I just pulled this out of a human everything that you know and I'll just take half of it like this is a lot of good stuff to throw away I mean there's a lot of antioxidants and stuff in there and you know we just you know so the go-to has been soup. You know, I come out in the middle of the night. You know, I want soup. So, I'm putting this stuff right here. The guts of uh, this stuff. In, uh, in my uh, crock pot. Okay. I am going to add... half of this pork loin um, we cut up some steak earlier and put it in here from yesterday and uh, I bought this rice today because uh, it's been about a, almost a month I think since I've had rice I don't remember off the top of my head this is a uh, low GI Cosmonte rice and that's one of my favorite batter jasmine rice so I'll cut this up like so. I already ticked. I just take it like this and legitimately just. She's a lot more um, articulate than I am. I'm more of a fucking caveman. I just, you know, just fuck it, you know. So there's celery, cucumber, big chunks of cabbage, which they get really soft, um, eggplant. And this will last probably two to three days. And then what I'll do is when it gets low, I'll go to the fridge. Jesus Christ. You might as well just come on here. You already ruined the video. <laughs> Look at this. You wonder why people think you're my daughter. My autistic daughter. Um, I don't even know what we're doing now. Um, so, half the cabbage is in there. Blah, 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 blah. Bam, kick it up a notch. I might throw some garlic in there. I, I'll tell you what I did throw in there. Um, that's been pretty good. Just some vinegar. You say vinegar? Yep, yeah, Helps break down the vegetables a little bit faster. And... You know, making your body alkaline. You know, I was trying to explain it to her today. Um, you know, it's like your body's a swimming pool, okay? Your blood's floating all through this. You know, your your blood's in the pool, and it goes through all the pipes and the filtration system, and you add chlorine and stuff to make it more palpable. And, you know, you know, so the more sugary shit you put in your body, the more carbs, like... Like pasta, white bread, white rice. You get away with this rice because it's more off the spectrum. But, uh, you know, rolls, dinner rolls, 
cereal, milk, all that shit causes inflammation. High glycemic carbs, you know, make you carry weight around your abdomen. That's the biggest thing that people don't realize. Bread carries around your, your um, abdomen and it lowers your insulin and makes you tired and all that stuff. So you want to eat more low glycemic foods and stuff like that. I don't like to cook a lot. It's hot outside. So I'll take, this will go, go tonight. This is the soup from today. There's still some left. It's good. I'm just adding the rest to this. And uh, I constantly have a base or whatever. And then after about a week, we'll clean it out or not. You know, we're not dying. So it's just vegetables kept in a freezing refrigerator like ours. But, you know, and then I just, I add my pink Himalayan salt. I mean, I'm late to the crock pot game. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, you are. I'm really late to the game. <laughs> Add a little red pepper so she'll stay out of it. I'm just oh, I, had I know. She tries to make it so I can't eat it. But, uh, you know, add what you want to it. And then when I get it in my bowl, I take this. I'll put a little cheese on there, melt it in the microwave, put some croutons, some crackers on there, whatever. And, uh, you know, I got my juice, you know. And then, uh, you know, people, when I tell people, we have nothing in our fridge, okay, but this, water, okay? Water, if I'm drinking water, I'm drinking it with this, okay? Kratom, you know, or I'm drinking it with lemon juice. So, just to give people, uh, you know, a heads up, find some salads. Salads are so easy to make. You know, just buy a bunch of salad stuff, bing, boom, 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 put it together. You can even put salads in a glass mason jar, and I've seen that done for meal prep. Find stuff you like, keep track of the stuff, and just make it easy. It's not that hard. That's what she said.